And uh, speaking of numerical simulation, there is a lot. There are a lot of applications to aerospace engineering where you need this kind of scale resolving high fidelity simulation. This includes takeoff conditions where you have a lot of separation, including landing configurations where the geometry is no longer clean. You have landing gears extending out, including these called the Buffett boundaries, over which either you're flying at high angle of attack or in an emergency dive, where the flow starts to separate on the portion of the wing. And the resulting dynamics is actually very important in designing an airplane because this vortex shedding is going to create vibrations that has a wide range of frequencies. Another aspect of chaos I didn't mention is that the scales it produces is not a single frequency. It has all kinds of frequencies, a range of frequencies. And in this case, in an airplane, if there is one frequency that is structural uh, vibration resonant frequency that lives inside the frequency produced by the chaotic dynamics, you get a phenomenon called Buffett. Right? If you have a flown airplane, uh, you probably have experienced the buffeting before, I mean, in, in stall maneuvers. If you have to fly the airplane very close to stall, you get your tail to be doing some kind of vibration, and you probably have experienced that. And you need to design for that condition to make sure the airplane is not breaking apart in these conditions. Okay, so, so this is the goal of my research. My research says that nowadays, including ZJ's group, have made a lot of advance in being able to predict using high fidelity, high order, high accurate simulations to predict the behavior of these chaotic dynamics, to predict the statistical long time behavior of these chaotic dynamics. Now the question immediately after that is, we are engineers, we want to not just to study this phenomenon, but also to design or control this long-time behavior of chaotic systems. So how can we design or control a potentially chaotic system so that its long-time average, again defined in a way consistent to egotic theory, serves our needs? So this is really why I'm doing what I'm doing. So how do we do that? The approach I'm taking from my mathematical background is mathematically. How I like to do it is to parameterize this chaotic system. So let's say described using an ODE. It can be a discretized PDE, for example. By a set of design and control parameters X. So this is a parameterized chaotic dynamical system. And now, my long-time average, although it is still independent of the initial condition, it's actually dependent on this x, right? OK, now I can use, if I can compute the grade of the long-time average with respect to this design or control parameters, then this is basically what control theory does. Use this grading to drive a grading-based optimization so that this J behaves as what we want. This kind of grading driven optimization underlies a lot of different applications, including optimal control theory, machine learning, that's deep learning, that's a very hot topic recently, but it's basically grading driven optimization. And a lot of aerodynamic design, that if you look at the wings of typical airplanes, a lot of them, especially the newer ones, are designed using grading driven optimization. What I want to do is to be able to extend this kind of grading based optimization and design to chaotic dynamics, which is spontaneously unsteady, non periodic, produces a range of frequencies, and very sensitive to perturbations. But the statistics can be stable. And if we can do sensitivity analysis to this kind of chaotic dynamics, that can enable a high dimensional input and output response. Let you figure out if I change something, how is the statistics going to change? It allows you to perform optimization and explore a very high dimensional design space if you can do these sensitivities. 
and also it helps to quantify the uncertainties from your numerics, from your mesh, from your uncertain modeling parameters, separate scale models, uh, very well. So this is why what I'm doing. Okay.